Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see this lab activity installing Wireshark. Right, before coming to this uh, uh, lab activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get a notification message whenever we upload a new video. Coming back to our lab activity, here we can see our objectives, download and install Wireshark. And here we can see the scenario. Wireshark is a software protocol analyzer or packet sniffer application used for network troubleshooting, analysis, software and protocol development and education. As data streams travel back and forth over the network, the sniffer captures each protocol data unit, that is PDU, and can decode and analyze its content according to the appropriate RFC or other specifications. Right, Wireshark is a useful tool for anyone working with networks and can be used with most labs in the CCNA courses for data analysis and troubleshooting. This lab provides instructions for downloading and installing Wireshark. Here we can see the required resources one PC with a Windows 7 or 8 or 10 with internet access. Here we are using uh, Windows 8. Right. Download and install Wireshark. Wireshark has become the industry standard packet sniffer program used by network engineers. This open source software is available for many different operating systems, including Windows, Mac, and Linux. In this lab, we will download and install the Wireshark software program on your PC. They given a note here, before downloading Wireshark, check with your instructor about the software download policy of your academy. Okay, right, so uh, coming to step one, download Wireshark. Wireshark can be downloaded from www.wireshark.org. So we will uh, go to uh, Wireshark official website and we will download this software. We will uh, copy this URL. Coming to our browser. Here we can see our URL. Coming back to our instruction, uh, next here we can see, click the icon above download. Here we can see that download coming to our browser. Same thing here we can see download, we will uh, click on this icon. Then choose the software version you need based on your PC architecture and operating system. For instance, if you have a 64-bit PC running Windows, choose Windows installer 64-bit. Yes, coming back to our uh, browser, uh, we are using here a Windows operating system uh, with 64-bit. So we will uh, click on it, Windows installer 64-bit. And here we can see it started downloading. Here you have to download according to your uh, system requirements. Here we can see for uh, uh, Windows installer for 32 bit. Also, we can see Windows uh, portable apps 32 bit. Also, we can see for Mac OS. And here we can see its source code. Yes, once download completes, here we can see that download. We will go to show in folder so that here we can see our uh, file. Wireshark hyphen win 64 and this version. Okay. Coming back to our documentation. After making a selection, the download should start. Yes, already downloaded. The location of the downloaded file depends on the browser and operating system that you use. Yes, so we opened our uh, the downloaded file here. For Windows users, the default location is the downloads folder exactly so this is in uh, uh, downloads folder yes now it's time to install Wireshark we will come to step 2 install Wireshark the downloaded file is named Wireshark dash win 64 dash x dot x dot x dot exe 
where x represents the version number. Yes, so here we can see our downloaded exe file version. It's a 3.03. .03. So whenever you download, uh, there may be a change in version. Right, so double click the file to start the installation process. Okay, we will see what is next. Respond to any security messages that may display on your screen. If you already have a copy of Wireshark on your PC, you will be prompted to uninstall the old version before installing the new version. It is recommended that you remove the old version of Wireshark prior to installing another version. Click yes to uninstall the previous version of Wireshark. Right, so here in this PC we did not install any Wireshark. So we can go to the next step. Before that we will execute our .exe file. We will double click on this uh, file. Windows a smart screen can be reached right now. So we will give a run anyway. Next is if this is the first time that you have installed Wireshark or after you have completed the uninstall process, you will navigate to the Wireshark setup wizard. We have to click next. Yes, we will click on next. Continue advancing through the installation process. Click I agree when the license agreement window displays. I agree. Next is keep the default settings on the choose components window and click next. Okay, we will click on next. Next is choose your desired shortcut options and click next. Okay, is everything okay? We will click on next. Next is you can change the installation location of Wireshark, but unless you have a limited disk space, it is recommended that you keep the default location. Okay, we, we have sufficient space, so we will uh, keep this uh, default location. Destination folder, next. Next is to capture a live network data, WinPCAP must be installed on your PC. If WinPCAP is already installed on your PC, the install checkbox will be unchecked. If your install version of a WinPCAP is older than the version that comes with Wireshark, it is recommended that you allow the newer version to be installed by clicking the install uh, WinPCAP x.x.x .x .x, that is version number checkbox. Okay, next is finish the WinPCAP setup wizard if installing WinPCAP. Coming to our setup, here we can see install NPCAP, the version, we will click on uh, next, here we can see get PCAP, okay, anyways, uh, we given here a checkbox to install, we will click on next. Next is in addition, USB PCAP can be installed on your PC. If USB PCAP is already installed on your PC, the install checkbox will be unchecked. If your installed version of USB PCAP is older than the version that comes with Wireshark, it is recommended that you allow the new version to be installed by clicking the install USB PCAP x.x.x. .x .x. That is version number checkbox. They given a note here because USB CAP is still experimental, it is recommended that you do not install USB CAP unless you need to capture USB traffic. Okay, right. Finish the USB PCAP setup wizard if installing USB PCAP. Coming to our Wireshark, we will click on install. So Wireshark is installing. Now here we can see it's prompted for uh, NPCAP license agreement. We will click on I agree and install.
and here we can see NP cap installation complete so we'll click on next and we will finish it now Wireshark installation is in progress now we can see Wireshark installation is completed we will click on next then we will finish it yes click finish to complete the Wireshark install process we done that so friends in this video we have seen the lab activity installing Wireshark so friends stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you